Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to use DocuUp to edit PDF. The first thing you want to do once on DocuUp, you're going to tap on Get Started for free. And from there, you'll be prompt to sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And you're going to tap on New Document in the top left-hand corner. Then you'll tap on Select Files. And from here, you can select the PDF that you would like to edit. After selecting the PDF, you can see it is being uploaded. Once it has been uploaded, you're going to tap on Create Document. After selecting Create Document, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can now start editing your PDF. So to get started, you'll go over to the top left-hand corner of the navigation bar. And you can tap right where you see the capital A and that will allow you to add text. So we could go to the line right here, tap on the line and then from there we can type in our text. So let's say for example, I would like to fill in my name right there. I can do that as you can see right here. After doing that, you could tap right where you see date of birth and then you could fill in your date of birth right there. So wherever you would like to fill in, you can simply tap on it with your mouse cursor. And then from there, you can do that as you can see right here. So let me do that. After you have filled in your date of birth, for example sake, we could also choose the gender by simply going over to the top navigation bar once more. We could tap on the tick right there or you could choose a different symbol if you want any one of these icons. So if you wanted an X, you could choose that. But we'll stick with the sticky for this example. Then all you'll need to do is tap in the circle and you can see that it has been placed right there. Then we could tap on the capital A once more and you could fill in your phone number right here. So you could fill in your phone number. Then you could fill in your email address and your address. And you could scroll down and you can continue editing the document. And also, if you would like to add your signature, you can tap right where you see sign. Then you'll see the option to add signature. After you have tapped right there, you can see create signatures. Signatures you create with DocuHub are legally valid. So you can tap on draw. Then from there, you could draw your signature as you can see right here. And you could tap on save as default or you can use initials or you could choose to upload an image. We'll tap on save as default and you can see the signature has been created. And all you'll need to do, you can simply drag and place the signature where you want. So let's say, for example, we'd like to add the signature right there. We'll tap on sign. Then from there, we'll drag and place our signature right here. So you can see it right there. If you'd like to also request a signature, you could tap right where you see sign and you could tap on request signatures from others. Once you're finished and it is still liking, you'll go over to the top right hand corner and from here you could tap on download. Then you'll be able to download it or you can download it on Google Drive, Google Classroom or Dropbox. So you have numerous options, but I'll just select general download. And you can see that it has been downloaded. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.